Hello, my name is River Nave, and today I'm going to teach you how to redraw Second Life hair. As you see, I already have a Second Life avatar, and she is bald. Bald is easier to start with. You can do this with a avatar that already has hair, or you can start with a bald base, depending on your preference. As you see, the first thing I do is I create a layer on top of my already cropped out young lady here. She is on an alpha layer, allowing me to be able to put things behind her if I need to. Then I come through and I draw the base of the hair. Depending on how long the hair you want and the style, whether you want it laying flat, wet, dry, flowing in the wind, that's what you need to base the shape of your hair off of. In this case, I'm going to have fluttering in the wind, long-ish hair. If you make a mistake, that's okay, because it's on a separate layer. We'll go through later to shape it better, shrink it, or grow it. All right, so right now we look like our young lady has an afro. Next, what you do is you, you should have downloaded some brushes. I have some hair brushes here. The link in the description will tell you where I got them and who to credit for these brushes. Always remember to credit the person who makes the brushes. Okay, I'm going to use a smudge tool and I'm going to draw up the strength and I'm going to begin to pull the hair. This is just the base, so it's perfectly fine if you make some mistakes or you need to go back and redo the base at some point. This is kind of like just the shape of the hair the shape in your basic color, of course. Okay. The higher the strength, the longer the strands, the lower the strength, the shorter the strands as you see here. Okay. Now let's say I'm not a big fan of this shape. I can go back and liquefy and shape it a little bit more to my liking. If you make a mistake, feel free to control alt z But always try to work with your mistakes. That's one of the first rules of art. Here we go. All right, we have a basic shape to our hair. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the same color, a new layer, and we're going to take that layer and make it multiply. You can change how much it multiplies. 
and how dark you want this bits in between. For now we're just going to leave it this dark. This is where you're going to start to create contours and flows to the hair, whether or not the hair is wavy or straight. Still technically a base, but now it's a base for the sh inside shape of the hair. It's not going to look very pretty at first. As you noticed, I put darker towards the face. Hair tends to be more shadowed towards the face. can change the size of your brush as you go along to get smaller strands, larger strands. Do you see how I did that there? That's going to help us later on. Alright, this is the end of tutorial part one. And in part two, we'll finish, we'll keep going. So, um, I'll see you guys in a second.